What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going back to 67P. I told you to be like a small series on this. Of course, it's not going to be back to back, but we're going to do some photos on this. And I think you're going to find this one pretty interesting. Some of these things do not look natural. Of course, I'm going to leave it all up to you. I'm going to give you my opinion about what I think these things are and whether I believe they're natural or none. There's some pretty cool stuff in here without even doing a thing to this photo. And I'm going to show you right now. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? Now, here it is. This is the same site that I got the last photo from, and this is the one that we're going to use. Now, I'm going to show you some pretty interesting stuff here, folks. Without doing a thing, again, to this photo, I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this. Back it up just a hair. Okay. Now, just this area alone, I'm going to put it right in the middle of this magnified circle. Notice the lines right next to this darker feature. See that right there, right in the middle? Look at the lines inside here. Look at this object right here. Okay. See that? Look at the lines in there. You don't see that over here. You don't see it over here. Although there are some lines. See this right here? Something here has been ghosted out. You can see what looks like almost like a pipe of some sort coming out. But they try to cover it up by making this super bright. Now, here's another thing that's really just jumped right out at you. What is this in the background? I'm going to put the arrow right there smack dab on it. What is that? You can see what looks like, it looks almost like metal coming up, going around, complete square, nice rounded corners. And in the inside, it's smooth, has the smooth corners. And with the exception of this other corner, this looks like it can be a complete square with rounded corners to it, right? On the outside as well. What does that in nature, folks? Seriously, what does that in nature? And again, we have all these lines right here. And you can see this looks like structures laying right here. And so is in this piece right here, and then it gets even better. Over here, it looks like some kind of weird bracket, and you can see just underneath it, there's a little bit of black there. Here, this object right here in the middle of this circle looks like some kind of platform sticking out of the edge of this mountain range right here, and it looks like an L-shaped structure on it right there. There's actually small lines right here as well. Look at the way this thing's curved, folks. Looks like something very faint right here coming from the top of this platform down into the bottom into the darker areas you guys see that here we have what looks like a bracket of some sort going like this here see right there it's like v-shaped and then this part comes down into here and you can see what looks like the framework whatever it may be folks again completely centered out completely centered out there's some objects right here and I'm going to rotate this so you can see this. You can tilt your head to the left right now, but look at this. Looks like objects standing off of the surface of this so-called rock. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? Now, let's start by turning this clockwise. Like this here, because I want to show you these other objects first. Zoom right in. Check these things out right here, folks. They almost look like one of them is doing this. Yeah. Also, take note of the shapes down here, right in here. The other thing you're going to find, which is pretty interesting, is these other two pieces right here next to it. Like there's three pieces standing up right there. See them? Come down here. We'll just rotate this a little bit. Come down here, you have what looks like structures in this crevice. Okay? And you see this a whole lot better because what happens is, again, this is all one color. There's blurring in here. You're going to see different spot blurring. I mean, the whole photo looks like it's kind of blurred out here and there. And this darker gray stuff, no, nah, this is bull. They're putting something over here to get rid of the individuality of these structures. Here. Got more structures. N take note of this one right here. There's one that kind of overlays it right here. And there's a shadow right underneath it. Overshadowing this piece. And just in front of it here. You can see that when you look at that there. Get your magnifiers out, folks. You're going to need them. Weird looking objects here. Not sure what to make of that. Okay. This is the piece I was just telling you about briefly. Looks like it's doing this. 
But then look at the way this thing is, to me, it's designed. Let's see, it has a, some kind of small design on there. We have this piece going like this into this. But look at the framework that's also here. Looks like it's coming out of this hole, coming like this here, going back to this other area, right? See that? We have this right here doing this. It looks like some kind of rectangular opening type thing. Here, this thing's pretty interesting. Right here. If you look at this, it has, looks like something going like this. Looks like there's something round off the side of this thing. Something, like I said, looks like it drops down to the lowest part of the surface. But check this thing out. Going like this. There is what looks like some kind of L-shaped item on top of it. And look carefully. Right here. You can see some lines in it. Actually, it looks like there's more here. But I don't think I got that in the enhancement. I'm seeing that now. Okay. Rotate a little bit. Here. What I was telling you earlier. Looks like some kind of weird pipe type thing right here in the center. You can see it right here. Okay. Circles inside this recessed area. You can see that right there. Okay. This item, like I said... Weird, weird stuff right here. This thing's going like this. And the only reason why you can't see the rest of it is because it's behind this other stuff here. All right? But look at the inside to this. You can see it doing this. And they've got this same texture here and they put it right inside the middle what i noticed was the way this thing looks designed there's no way this is natural in any way shape or form just because it has this kind of weird uh texture inside here doesn't mean they didn't put that there right here not sure what to make of that thing but look at the pieces inside here and as i stated earlier you have this piece here or these pieces rather will look like small structures you can see other lines in here as well Right there. I was telling you this about this. what looks like this bracket type thing going like this. This has a small piece right there. Looks like it does this. Built inside this. And if you look carefully, there is a small shadow under that. And you can see the blurring right here. Really, really good at this. They love just messing with these things. Now let's look at this area now right here. A little bit more detail. Yeah, bring down some of this right here. See if we can bring up more of that. Again, that piece right there. Now, let's do the full enhance. And let's have a better look now. All right, so here's these other objects right here. They are, in fact, there. See that? Anything that was white, we just brought it up a little brighter. That's pretty much all we did. This here. Again, folks, they try to blend or blur so that you can't see the details very clearly. And you can see they did a pretty good job of it. See that? Just bringing out the lines. Again, look at this whole area. Pay attention to the actual items that look like they're overlapping each other. Pieces inside here. Again, we can't make the assumption that they're going to build just like us. It's just not going to happen. But you can see like different pieces look like little structures of some kind of, who knows, for all we know it's machines or parts of this build, if you will. And I'll explain what that means in a moment at the end of this video. Okay. Nice circle with something inside it. See it doing this. Circular piece here. 
And you can see the blurring, folks. Look at this. Really, really bad. Again, it's the same thing to do on Mars, right? What they try to do is just blend everything with a color or a blur. So again, the details for every individual piece is just not visible, right? Top of this right here. Here. You can see that piece coming off. What are the chances of that thing having this nice flowing looking mechanical parts? But you can see other pieces coming off out of this. Looks like it's doing this. Almost looks like there's something rounded there, but then you get another line here. This part right here. Yeah. Shopping up a little bit. Here. Again, we can see the lines coming down like this. Looks like some kind of L-shaped item right there. Might even have an end to it, like almost like an opening to it. Not sure what to make of that. You know that right there? It's a little fuzzy because I did shop in it so we can get a better look. Here. Notice a small piece in here. Right here. I think it's doing it like this, but it has a circle inside. Like a dot type thing, see it? Whatever that is. But notice how we actually have what looks like piping now. And you can see that there right here nice flowing pieces right like this really really cool and again we have this area here to me this thing here I'm not even sure what to make of this like I said for some reason I'm not sure why this would be in the photo okay the inside, and again, you can't see the rest of this so-called square because the rest of this is in the way here. What does that, and why is that here? Notice how it almost has like a something else that contours it in the back of it. I don't believe this is real unless it is, and somehow it opens. I, I don't know. Pure speculation, of course, folks, right? But really, really odd the way that thing looks. Again here, and these pieces up here. I don't know about you folks, but this thing looks ominous when you look at this rock. Check that out. But there you go. Folks, what are we looking at here? I see two scenarios here. One, some ancient civilization took a rock and burrowed into it and made it so that they could travel on it. Remember when we did the last 67P where I showed you it looks like this big flash coming right out of the actual comet and they said that it was some kind of uh, plasma burst type thing or ice crystals coming out of it, right? Okay, my theory, and of course it's pure speculation, is that it may be an actual engine and it just happened to fire as the orbiter was going around that comet. All right. Again, two theories is going on in my head. Maybe some ancient civilization said, hey, why don't we do this? Why don't we get one of these comets, right? Build into it. Build all kinds of stuff on top of it. It could be machines or parts of the interior to help this thing function, whether it's sensors outside, thrusters, whatever. The second option is it's just a very well disguised spacecraft. That's the only two options I can think of. Why else would we see all of these structures or what looks like mechanical parts on the outside of this thing? Let's suppose it is a giant spacecraft and it's been made to look natural, like a natural rock. It makes perfect sense. You could literally fly through so different solar systems and through the universe 
and looked like a total rock. And it seems to me that there was some kind of scan of this thing, right? And found out it was emitting a signal. And of course, they had to modify it a little bit so our ears could hear it. I'm wondering if they saw a power signature coming from this thing. And this is what prompted them to go check it out. Anyway, guys, this is my theories and my speculation. Drop your thoughts below. Let me know what you think. And let me know what you see in here. And don't forget to share the video. It is always appreciated. And folks, don't forget to hit the thumbs up so YouTube will share it. And if you're new to the channel, you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell on the right-hand side. And once that drop-down box comes down, go ahead and hit all so you'll be notified of any new videos coming out. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace, folks.